Alrighty, new shot. I'll check this out. This is a longer sequence like that. I could do sound effects here. Get over here. All right. So my main thing is that it's really long. I have to say this is, is that eight seconds? It feels so much longer. Two, three. Yeah, I was questioning. Uh, I was questioning for more of my timeline. Uh, it's lying. It's lying to me. No, it is. It just feels like 20 seconds. That's my concern with this. So my question for you is, so there, there are a couple of things. Let's pretend this is all in one shot. You want your first frame to be strong, especially with like mechanics and fighting stuff. And this is, I don't know what's going on here. Like the silhouette's super muddy because of all the overlapping elements. So something where we are more like this. Imagine this is your first frame. I know it's tricky because you're, you're starting on an action and that might be too fast. You do want something fast during the first six to eight and last six to eight frames. So this might be tricky, but in terms of clarity, I think this is better. So that's not the best way. And that's kind of okay, but you have a massive tangent here. I'm not sure if I would end it here too. The other thing is, let's see, like that to me is already a bit more interesting. We're closer to the action. Yes, you have some elements, you know, where we get out of the frame here. But then this could also be, that's an interesting frame right there. This could be handheld as well, where we go over. This cracked me up. This is a bit more like a video game, you know, old school Mortal Kombat thing where we stay in that one pose and go forward. So it's just, some of the actions are, let's put it this way. To me, it's long and it's a bit repetitive. And with that type of staging where the camera's like this, it's just not super compelling. Like after a couple seconds, I've seen it. And also some of the actions are super not believable. When you go this far out, you're so off balance. This guy's going to go, bah, 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 hit the ground. But magically I'm going, oh, I got Spider-Man hands and uh, feet here. I can stay put and come back. This is physically absolutely impossible. And then this here, I mean, that's me. Is he getting hit here? She's getting hit this way. Again, super off balance, massively impossible to just recover like this. So I just have lots of questions <laughs> in terms of the mechanics. So would you be open to cut this shot into separate shots where you might start with something again the silhouette it's cleaner but maybe we're this wide and then you do a certain action and then after all of this we cut close to it could even just be one character well now we're really off here but you know where we are closer to the face and it's maybe some like an expression of pain and i want to go attack and maybe this is another shot that's wide because it's this big action move here then we get into this where maybe now we're cutting into something closer where we travel with the character to this and so on the other thing is you got you know a couple punches okay then we got a leg then we got another punch another leg and i know the leg action is different but it's still technically you got a jump leg you got a jump here you got a jump here it's always kind of the same. So I would, to me, it feels like, okay, okay, what can we do in terms of a set? Could they fight closer to the wall here? So maybe they do all of this and you have an action where he gets, this is actually him bumping and the camera would be different into the crates and this. And that's why, you know, he would fall into this and maybe shuffle, you know, uh, um, they would move around and then he would punch and maybe he would duck and then punch through the box and then cut to a close-up of him being surprised and so on. Is there any way we can involve the environment a bit more for more interesting shots? Could one of them hang up here? Maybe there's no wall, but it's just it's just pipes and they would be hanging. So maybe you have a moment where, let's see. And I'm changing everything. I'm just saying, like, what if there's an action where, where you have this also, I'm not quite sure what's going on here now that I'm framing through this. This comes super late. Wait, is he holding on to his arm and the arm hits him? I didn't even read that at the beginning. But anyway, what if there's a, a thing of their pipes? He jumps up, holds on to the pipes, lifts himself up, legs up here. These are legs. And then he goes underneath and, and kind of falls. He lets go, falls down, tr uh, turns around, back for action, and so on. I don't know. To me, it feels like 
you want to look at well basically what are you trying to do here that would be my first question that i should have asked at the very beginning is this purely showing body mechanics do you just want to do a fight for fun is this an exercise fight is this for a demo reel and if it's an exercise you can leave it like this and just practice mechanics if it's for demo reel i would again look at how long is the shot what are you showing off that needs our attention for eight seconds is there anything that you can put in that's more interesting could this be travel with a traveling camera where they fight left to right and but then they go from this maybe this goes down some rubble into maybe this is like some old cave a cave um like a garage or something or warehouse and there's maybe there's maybe puddles here i know you want to do water sim but i'm saying it would go from a hard surface to maybe something softer and then that forces them to change the fight style so to me it's like if this is a demo reel shot over eight seconds what are the things you can show off? We got punching, we got jumping, but is there anything else? And do you want to every now and then cut to a face where it's a bit more about the pain, the rage or whatever you have. So it's not just kind of detached, you know, this is more like, like a camera, like a security camera view, beep, 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 where, we, where we're filming someone like some old fight club scene. And you got a bunch of people here standing and cheering, which could also be cool, but that's more like a crowd scene to it. Anyway. That's that's what I have. I, I do have notes regarding just animation. Like I said, in terms of even this here when he falls, this it feels like he eases in. He does, spacing-wise, into this. And that just feels really soft in terms of an impact of what the chest, head, and arms are doing. So I do have a lot of mechanics notes, you know, and also kind of terms of silhouette notes and stuff like that. But to me, none of that matters. If we are changing, that's a royal we, if you are changing the concept of the shot and the composition and just some of the ideas. So I'm going to hold off on that until you say, nope, this is it. I want to ha keep this camera, keep all of those actions, just give me mechanics critiques, and then I can do that. And if you do have reference, though, I would love to see the reference here. Alrighty, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.